Hey, this is Rob from 99 Ways Crypto and welcome back to the channel. For ideas on how to create passive income in the space of DeFi or crypto in general, then you might as well drop the video like, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so that you get notifications when I drop new videos. <clears throat> yeah, let's face it, a lot of these uh, DeFi projects are time sensitive, meaning that you need to get in at the right time in order to make some decent money off them. So that's why it's so important to subscribe um, and make sure you click the bell notification so you don't miss out on some of these nuggets I've been dropping. Being said, I like to not only cover some of the winning projects that I'm invested in, but I also like to cover some of the losing ones too. So this brings more awareness for you um, to ensure that you make better informed decisions when you get try and invest in these protocols. In this video, I want to bring two separate projects to your attention. One being the Matic FOMO and two, the Phantom FOMO projects. So as you might have heard, the Matic FOMO contract got drained out like a drunk man's bladder. Not great for some people, obviously. Um, fortunately, I was not invested in this. However, I was looking at investing in the Phantom FOMO. But I'm now having second thoughts. However, maybe we should take a little bit of a deep dive and have a look at what caused the Matic FOMO, FOMO to collapse. So it looks like there was two factors that caused the contract to drain out. One, the Matic network went down. And two, a YouTuber posted that you could force withdraw from the contract. So when the network went down, the users went into a panic mode. This often occurs, thinking that they couldn't withdraw their rewards and without doing a little digging to see what really um, was the issue in the background, they automatically thought that the developers had pulled the rug from the platform. Have a look at the force withdrawal uh, hack. So if we just jump over into the polygon just move that over for you yeah that looks better so if you jump into the poly scan which is the same as each scan it's the same thing each of these networks has has their own um, basically you can see the contract balance is zero so what actually happened here if i can just move this over so you can see uh, if i just drop down you've got uh, over this section here you go into contracts and then if you go to write contract, what you can actually do is, again, I need just to move this over for you, you'll see that there is um, a section here called force withdrawal. So the YouTuber had um, basically announced that you could do this on this contract. And of course, with the uh, in concert with the actual Polygon network or Matic network dropping out, and everybody then figuring out that they could force withdraw, all of a sudden everybody started withdrawing and then a whole heap of uh, FUD started spreading that the protocol was a rug and everyone started pulling out all their, con all their funds out of the contract until it ran dry. So it was not a rug at all, but this demonstrates to you that even if there's a, a, a lot of liquidity in a project and there is a heap of groundswell around it and there's a great community behind it, just a few small things can pull everything apart very quickly in these projects. That's why they're high risk. This is where you need to be smart. If something is making money and you have, you well, you just have to be aware that it may not last for long. So the strategy that I use is this. I never put in more than, you know, look, well, you should never put in more than you are prepared to lose. That's the first thing. What I do is I grow my bag in a very short time in a project and I focus on getting my return on investment back as soon as possible. And then once I've got my return on investment back, then it's all gravy from there. So there's a few little things you can do to protect yourself. Firstly, again, just put in what you're comfortable with losing. Two, work on getting your ROI back as soon as possible. So let's look at the Phantom FOMO project now. Well, as you can see, 
uh, a very similar layout and guess what it's the same development team so the question is do you now trust it let's hear from you if you trust the, the phantom FOMO after hearing what I've just told you put please put your comments down below whether you would invest in phantom knowing that it's the same developers based on the fact that the matic FOMO failed in this contract the phantom contract all you need to do is ensure that you've got your phantom network on your metamask and then if you scroll down let me just move that over for you okay now scrolling down here are farms for lack of a better word but here's the plans they have so you've got the first one over here plan one uh, is 14 days for a total return of 138.6 then the second one you get 8.4 percent daily profit from 21 day investment um, with a total return of 1764 and plan three is 6.9 percent daily profit um, over 28 days now the the beauty of plan one two and three is you can pull out your money at any any time through that contract and still get your rewards so the more risky area is down here plan four five and six so now these ones you must leave your money in for the designated time so 14 days 21 days or or 28 days so they're obviously a little bit more risky because you can't pull your money out but obviously the rewards are greater so again it comes down to your own your own personal uh, risk levels of where you're comfortable with for me i'm going to go over there remember i'm just some schmuck on on youtube don't listen to me uh, this is purely for entertainment purposes not financial advice so i'm going to still stick in a little bit of money in here i think um they were very unlucky with the matic fomo um and it's this one here is probably worth my risk i'm only going to put a little bit of money in to see what happens just for more of a social experiment so in here you pop in how much you're willing to put in so if i put a hundred dollars in at the end of the 28 days I'd, i would earn back 547 dollars and 70 cents not bad so anyway this is and you'll see here that um, this area is for those who refer people into the system you will be rewarded for doing so so it looks like a good little platform um like i said it's it, it could be risky because you so seen what happened with matic fomo um now it's same developers so the the risk the risk is there but for me i think i'm going to throw in a hundred dollars and see what happens so check back in with me in a month and and i'll show you if I, if if it worked out or if i lost my money simple as that anyway guys if you enjoyed this video we would appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and if you um, are like me and you uh, believe that DeFi projects are time sensitive so then it is critical that you subscribe to our channel and you hit the bell icon so that you get notified when we're dropping videos because we're, we're looking and investigating all sorts of DeFi project, projects at the moment and we'd love to have you uh, subscribe and enjoy uh, the journey with us all right cheers thanks for watching have a good evening good morning uh, wherever you are and rob out